Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, January 25th, uh, down due to Microsoft's earnings. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, tonight, just to point this out tonight, we do have Tesla, ServiceNow, LAM, STLD, and CSX. We can see a look at the transportations. We do have a petroleum report at 1030, so we just do need to be aware of that with our energy energy names. Uh, so crude, crude has been rejected at that trend, uh, still holding in, but has been rejected at that trend line that we've been watching. Bonds, uh, they're, they're coming back up a, a little bit. Gold's holding in just fine. Uh, Bitcoin's flagging very close to the nine. We need to keep keep a close eye on that. We lose that nine, we got opportunities. If we push up off that nine, we got opportunities. Uh, dollar still doing the same. Put the call has pushed back into the bear zone at 103. Uh, oscillators 175, Nasdaq 163, New York Stock Exchange getting a little warm, but we cooled off considerably. Uh, compared to yesterday, but we are still a little warm, but there's plenty of room to move in either direction. Breath pause yesterday, advanced decline lines, they, they turned down. Uh, SPY has lost a downtrend. So it'd be a easy move to pull back to your nine right here, which is now 396.18. Keep in mind that that's a moving target. Also, also puts us right back down to the candle line where the close of, of the previous candle, not yesterday's candle, but Monday's candle. So keep an eye on that. We know we got some support there. I'm sorry, not closed, but where that candle opened. Apologize. All right, so Texas Instruments had, had mixed earnings. Looks like they're trying to turn it around. Uh, Microsoft, this is what we need to talk about. EPSB revenue miss. All right, let's slow down a little bit. Let's talk, talk about these five numbers. So we've seen the nine. We have a level at 396.42. If we lose that today, 392.11, 389.58, 387.06. push today, you know, we got to get back above 398.58, 400, 402, 403.45. Now let's go to Microsoft. So the algos pounced all over this last night. Uh, nice push up. If anybody got this, I didn't trade this myself. Uh, that's what I do. I, I believe in earnings. Earnings, I know. I know it's not. Uh, I, I do things differently, and it works. I didn't read that textbook. Uh, I believe in, you know, playing earnings up into, playing earnings after, but I believe in actually scalping the move. I do not believe in getting in and sitting into through an earnings call. I just don't do it. It's just not. It's not, you know, it's highly not recommended. So, but that's how I believe. But I did not trade this last night. Um, but you can see this nice push up and then you can see right here when they started the call last night, it started coming back when they realized it, when the numbers started coming out and they realized that they did guide down uh, the cloud services, just, just a lot of different things guiding down. So we're looking at possible shorts, especially on the cloud names today. So let's go over some levels. 234.02 could be your first level of support. If we lose that, 229.95. If we do... If they do come after it and they try to push it today, 237.23, then 242, looks like 03, 242.58. So we're going to treat that as a zone, that little 50 cents there, we're treating that as a zone, 55 cents. And you can see why. You can see when we get in here, we just chop. It could be a tough trader in there. So uh, due to that, we're going to keep an eye on some of these cloud names like Amazon, so you can see Amazon right here, big move down, actually looks a little worse than price action wise, not dollar amount, but price action wise looks a little worse than, than uh, Microsoft itself. So 94.33, the first level of interest. If we cannot reclaim that, look for 92.29. If we try, if we do take this back and we try to push, look for 96.30, 97.57, 99.27. Oh, let's go out and see what else we have down here. So we have not the 92.29, then 90.84. Amazon loves our levels. So, you know, they're worth keeping an eye on. Google is right in this bag of, of stocks that, you know, we're looking for possible shorts today. Oh, did that wrong. So let's see what Google looks like here. You can see it does not look as bad. I don't have as many levels on Google, but you can see this 97.11. We did lose that area. 
So let's put a level down here. At 93.57. So we can easily pull back to 93.57. I would also watch 95.04 if you're interested in tra trading this today. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Give me one second. Now, I also want to cover... Google's not one that I trade a lot, so... Uh, I do want to cover NVIDIA and AMD on this as well. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA has been very strong. It's been one of the better stocks. Let's get the indicators on. Yeah, moving averages on. As you can see, we're extended here. So, our 9 is clean down here to the 175.06 area. Keep in mind, that's going to move at market open. That is a moving target. So you can see right here, we can easily come back if we lose. Let's turn these back off. Let's make my life easier. If we lose the 188, I think it's 188.68. 188.68, that's our first level of interest. You know, you can also see kind of head shoulder head we didn't wasn't able so far but this could be trying to give us a, a you know possible downward sloping head and shoulders but i'm not really too worried about that as for patterns if we lose 188.68 we can look for a move down and we could push today don't get me wrong we could push but right now it's looking like you know possible pullback uh, 180.78 would be the next level of interest uh, always keep in mind your previous days highs and lows are very important 175.26 if we do try to push look for 197.73 uh, we take a look at AMD you can see AMD here 72.65 would be your first level of support if we lose that 71.38 if we lose that 69.24 if we try to push today and we reclaim the 74.67 look for 70 set move up to 77.12 so we still got Boeing, Boeing's reporting earnings. We got Boeing, Abbott, FCX reports at, at 8, Abbott 7.30. Uh, at and did come out, mixed bag. It was up on it last I looked, Boeing at 7.30 a.m. So let's see how they report. It'll give us some more to, to keep an eye on. Uh, let's take a look at at and You can see that they are up a little here. I don't, it's just not, not a name I trade very often. Uh, let's take a look at Apple. Oh, uh, we got to look at Tesla. Of course, Tesla reports earnings at night. We have to look at Tesla. So you can see Apple here. You can see how the price is just kind of rounding like that. So naturally, you would expect to move down here. Uh, let's get these moving averages back off. So this 141.24 is a big level for Apple. And you can see, and we can go back in time, you can find plenty plenty more test areas. So we're going to look, if we pull back today, we have this uh, zone at 139.52. It's about 10 cents. I'm not going to, you know, worry about the bottom number, but there's, there's a zone in that area. If we lose that, 138.77. If we do push today, we got to reclaim this 143.74. Uh, so let's go look at Tesla. Tesla's been been looking very well, uh, really good. We've talked about that in the videos, um, you know, about how it's reclaimed a nine and twenty. Uh, but we are at weekly resistance. If you were to turn your weekly chart on and turn your moving averages on, you can easily see that we are uh, right into the daily nine or the weekly nine. So 146.05, if we push today, this area has got to be cleared. You can see I'm worried about yesterday's high. We take that out from yesterday's high to 146.05. I'm going to consider that from about 145.30-ish, about 145.30-ish to 146.05. We're going to look at that as a zone, and that needs to be cleared. If we pull back today, 137.34, 132.30, 129.60. As for the upside, if we 
do clear 146.05. I will be on screen tonight. We will be trading Tesla for earnings, please. 151.90 would be a resistance. If we take out to 146.05, we will be on screen for earnings again tonight. Have a great day, everyone. Please remember, discipline is the key to your success in trading. That is the secret. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you in the trading.